Okay, so today we are making chicken hand grenades, grenades chicken what grenades, called. whatever you want to call them. Chicken grenades, I like it. Yeah. Chicken hand grenades. The reason we call them that is because, well, when we're done with them, you'll see here in a minute, they're going to look like hand grenades with a little pin you can pull out. We Frenched them, so they ball up, and then we're going to put a piece of bacon around them. We're going to season them first, then put a piece of bacon around them, and then grill them on a smoker out there. And what Frenching is, is where you cut around here, and then remove all this up here so you got a nice little stick to hold on to. So we're gonna get to these in just a minute, how we're gonna make these, but for now we gotta get these on the smoker. We are gonna smoke acorn squash. We got some butter in there, we got a little bit of uh, bourbon, maple syrup we've drizzled over the top, uh, butter, bacon, and syrup. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. So let's get these on and we'll get right back to making these grenades. All right, so the squash is on the smoker, and now what we're gonna do is we're seasoning, right, Tim, with yeah, um, Nashville. Nashville hot chicken seasoning. We're gonna season them real good, then we're gonna give them a good wrap in bacon, use one of our uh, grenade pins, and then we'll get them on the smoker too, right? How long are these gonna cook? Uh, until they're about 165, 169. All right, so we're cooking to temperature, Yeah. and trying to get some crisp on that bacon too. Gonna miss them too a little bit. What are we gonna miss them with? Apple juice. Whatever we're we gonna, want. We're gonna miss them with apple juice. All right, so. We're gonna give them a good season. Tell you can, me. You can season it real heavy. Like this heavy? Too heavy? A little more, I think. A little more. He thinks. Well, how spicy you want it. Nashville spice is not that hot. Nashville spice is not that hot. Good? Looks good to me. All right, so Tim's gonna show us how we wrap these here. Kind of overlap it, if you will. Put a little tension on your bacon. Wait, let me do it. Don't hit the bone. Oh! Ow, fucker! <laughs> All right, don't get God. Son of a bitch. I didn't go all the way through. I don't know where you were holding that. <laughs> Not there. Anyways, there's our pin, and don't let it poke you, prick. <laughs> all right, so there you're you putting go. your own pins in. <laughs> don't let somebody else do this for you. Oh, I'm sorry if the camera's Nat shaking, but I can't help you but laugh. Natural hot in there too. Ain't nobody got time for that, it's on fire. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, oh we're gonna get gosh. the rest of these done and we'll be right back. All right, so we got them all seasoned up. These look, well, they look as good as they can for being raw, but we're gonna throw these on the grill. It's at 350 and we're gonna cook them. It's gonna be about an hour to get these to 165, which is where chicken's done. We're gonna try and get that bacon as crispy as possible. And we're gonna spritzer them with the apple juice. I gotta get the spritzer out. All right, to the fire. To the fire. Let's get them on the grill. All right. On and cooking. All right. I think we're going to get the chicken off. It is 168 degrees. A couple with sauce, a couple without sauce. That way we get a taste in both ways. But take a look at these. All right. We're going to leave the... Uh, Acorn squash on for a few more minutes. Look at that though. They're starting to look good. All right, so everything has cooked about an hour. The smoked acorn squash, pretty much done. You know it's done because, well, you can stick a fork in it real easy. But if you wanna know how to make those, check my video out on acorn squash on the smoker. I'll put the link down in the description. But take a look at these chicken bombs. So like one thing to do, you gotta grab a leg, pull that pin, and let's see. Do it. All right, hold on. Pull the pin. Now let's see. Dude, those look pretty amazing, and they're gonna be messy, but. What's the difference there? You got some sauced and some not? Yeah, we sauced a few. We took a few not sauce. Just to see the difference, that's pretty darn good. Let me taste the one without sauce too. Just to be fair, pull the pin. Watch out, shrapnel. 10 you seconds. Got 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, 10 seconds. There you go. I got damage. Mm. I'm not sure which I like better, but they're both good in different ways. If you like barbecue sauce. We're from the north, man. We like sauce. All right. If you're from the south, then use like a dry rub with the bacon. Either yeah. way, these are delicious. Thanks for bringing this recipe out to me. I just want you, before we, before we close here, I got to have you taste this because I know you haven't had... Not on the, the air squash. I will. Smoke it. I know it is, but. You know how I know squash, it's man. good? Look at that little scallywag. 
Scallywag knives. Scallywag knives. I know it's good because sure. you guys both got quiet and that never sure. happens. If you guys have seen this video, you know I'm not an acorn and squash fan, but acorn and squash on the smoker. Cheers. Just thought I'd try to burn his hand. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> That's hot. I thought, I thought some, I thought somebody was barbecuing. Yeah, it was us. That's good, man. I've never had it with bacon in there. Wow. Napalm hot right there. Woo! Thanks good. for stopping. Click that thumbs up, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Good Tim's stuff. face down in the food here, but. There's some nice bourbon maple syrup on that acorn squash uh, Actually, too. You, I can taste it. you can taste a little bit of bourbon on there. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely delicious. Thanks for stopping. We'll see you next time. Gotta go. Goodbye.